Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I am back and it is time for another StarCraft 2 1 vs 1 replay cast. We have got ourselves a ZVZ featuring Alpha Star today. So this is match number one on Cyber Forest. It's going to be a Master Zerg trying to take down the Alpha Zerg. The Alpha Zerg just sounds straight up, uh, straight up kick-ass, if we're going to be honest. Al <laughs> the Alpha Zerg is, sounds like something that would be out of the StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm campaign. In fact, I'm not sure if that's not actually a thing because there was all the Primal Zerg and things like that. If you guys haven't, I do recommend you play the StarCraft II campaign. Uh, I mean, I may as well mention it that it's actually free, the first part of the StarCraft II campaign. I really did enjoy it myself. I've played it uh, once or twice, tried, did all the achievement hunting and stuff, and that was, that was good fun for a time. And uh, it's free. It's a great way to learn StarCraft 2. It's got a pretty good story, I'd say so. Uh, it, it did get a lot of flack as it did kind of deviate from the first game. And I understand people giving it flack. But personally, I enjoyed the StarCraft 2 campaign. It was, uh, and just the level design and everything. It's like, uh, you might, it might be easy to oversee, say, how good Blizzard is at making video games. But once you actually play like a finely tuned crafted or a finely crafted campaign, there's a lot of thought in the mechanics, the level design, things like that. You say, wow, Blizzard is really good at making a game. Honestly, uh, yeah, StarCraft is a ton of fun and there's always something for everyone. So I just thought I'd mention the campaign and the multiplayer and everything is free. If you do ever want to hop on and give StarCraft 2 a try. Now, Alpha Star and the Masters player are just doing just doing a double hatchery. They're kind of twinning right now. And ladies and gentlemen, seeing as how we've got four queens on the way right now, let's try and hit four likes on this video. Go ahead and hit that like like button if you do enjoy Alpha Star games. For now, though, we'll take a look how the game's gonna go. Looks like we've got speed on the way for the Masters player. Still a lot of gas being mined for him as well, so we'll see what he's gonna do with that. Alpha Star starts up its own speed too, cuts out a little bit of the gas, so probably not going to be a roach timing from Alpha Star at the minute. And if we do see the Masters player just going to be throwing up a third base, no sign of that from Alpha Star yet. However, oh, there actually is going to be a roach horn on the way for Alpha Star. You got to keep an eye out for Alpha Star as to what it's doing, but it looks like it will be a roach horn. It's put another drone back into gas, so it will be able to make some more of these roaches once they pop out as uh it looks like alpha star actually did cancel its speed and if you think about it canceling speed is enough gas for four extra roaches so it's quite significant it looks like it is going to be that early game push that alpha star goes for this is the roach cheese agent we're seeing as i say that though alpha star does end up firing does end up firing up eight drones uh, Lings do run in for the Masters player, gonna run into the main base. Do they actually spot the Roach Horn? They were close, looks like they do! A very important scout, and actually the lair gets spotted as well. Alpha Star throwing up a lair is quite unique. Uh, a couple of extra gases got thrown up too, so... I don't even know what you think if you're the Masters player at this point. You're like, am I being attacked? Am I not being attacked? What do I do? Uh, he's got ro he's got lings out for now, so he's gonna move across the map, try and maybe poke Alpha Star a bit. Continued aggression is a way to ensure that you've got information as far as what's coming your way. A queen actually gets caught. Alpha Star likes to move out on the map with its queens to hunt early game overlords, but this game it didn't even get an overlord, and it actually costed a queen. So that's the first time I think we've ever seen Alpha Star really get punished for that behavior. If we do take a look at how things are going, though, it is still just Roach City for Alpha Star. There hasn't been speed or anything fired up, no Evos. Mainly just a lair and a bunch of Roaches, so maybe just a light attack, see where it goes, and then transition with the lair tech. I'm not sure. For now, though, the Zerg player is just sitting on back, or the Zerg agent is just sitting on back, and the Masters player is actually just playing the super-duper greedy style of Masslings 1-1 against what could have been a roach timing which potentially still will be roach timing so this is incredibly greedy i'll say so from the masters player if you want to die to a roach timing try and hold it with lings 
not even any spines or anything building. Alpha Star has made so, so many roaches. We're gonna be seeing a dead nerd pretty soon, I think. Roaches moving out on the map for Alpha Star. The Masters player has gotta be a little bit concerned right now. I mean, he's making a ton of lings, but I don't think he's gonna have 1-1 done by the time this attack hits. The Queens are marching with this. The Zerg player is laying on that Z key, but if you're laying on the Z key, your opponent's laying on the Roach key, you will lose 99% of the time as Roaches are just vastly superior to Lings, even with the 1-1 upgrades, which could potentially come to fruition for the Masters player. I still don't have a lot of faith, so I think he's just gotta like try and counterattack Alpha Star. So we do see some Lings get sectioned off. He's just gonna be making a bunch more back at home and waiting for his window, I guess. The Ling counterattack is an absolute must to maybe catch some reinforcements. Alpha Star is gonna move out on the map with its speedy roaches. This is what? Oh gosh, 27 roaches. That is such a critical amount. Oh, the Zerg player is, or the red Zerg player is moving out on the map. He's even gonna take a fight before his 1-1 upgrades are done. This is a disaster. His carapace just finished up now, so the Lings are gonna do much better. But if he had waited for plus one, he would have got through these roaches so, so much quicker. We're gonna see the roach ball is gonna stand. The Ling counterattack did not get enough done. And oh, that just worked out horribly for the Masters player. He pulled the gun on that just a little bit too early, fighting without his plus 1-1 one, one upgrades. If we redo that fight, it might have actually gone the Master player's way as Alpha Star hadn't been reinforcing this too much. He's gonna take a fight now and try and get a wraparound on this army. The Ling should do okay this time. Kurosabao friendly fire damage from Alpha Star, but just too many Lings were lost after the first battle and Alpha Star is expertly saving its injured Ravagers, turning them into, turning them into, or injured Roaches, turning them into Ravagers. But let's go back a sec. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so the fight is about to kick off. There's what? Oh, how many Lings here? Uh, there's gonna be what, 70 Lings out? Against 26 Roaches or so? Uh, this is, yeah, 18 plus six, or 16 plus six, so 22 Roaches. It's not even all the Roaches for Alpha Star. And then there's what? Uh, there's 76 Lings, take away 16, so let's say 60 Lings against 24 Roaches. The Lings would have had an attack upgrade advantage if they had waited just a little bit, 10 more seconds, which they absolutely could have. Instead, we see the Zerg player take a fight, and it doesn't even go that badly for him. But then he just decides to go for it. The upgrades, like the carapace finishes, but the plus one, five, 10 seconds, a little bit too late. If he starts the fight with these, I'd say right now, like these roaches are already dead. These outer ones here. If he started with carapace, maybe he has a few extra lings and the fight just goes incredibly, incredibly different. So, uh, I mean, I was pretty sure the masters player was dead anyway, but there's a chance he could have won this fight if it had, if it had gone his way. Like, but his plus one finishes pretty much as all of his lings are dead. I'd like to see this redone, honestly. 60 plus, 61 one lings against non-upgraded 20 roaches in a circle. Anyway, into the next game. All right, so here we are into the next game. It's gonna be Alpha Toss taking on a Diamond Zerg. The one's again a Zerg human. Gonna be doing what they can against the agent. Uh, yeah. Gonna be just excited to watch this match. Been casting a couple more games today, as uh, still trying to still trying to get these games done before I can go away. And it turns out that I've got to do quite a few commentaries to make sure I'm covered as long as I'm away. It takes uh, it takes quite a bit of work to get ahead multiple m months. Yeah, about two months in videos for when I'm not going to be here. But I know you guys love StarCraft, so I thought, all right, I'll try and get as many done as I can. And at the, at the rate we're going, it looks like we might just make it. And so right now, if you're listening to this, you're hearing laughing games from the past. And I say hello. I hope the future is good, that 2020 is getting, getting a little bit better. Anyway, uh, this video should be going up sometime early August. And so I hope you're all doing well. Now we take a look. There is just Alpha Star doing a gateway expand. All the while the Zerg player doing usual Zerg player stuff. Hatchery first. Very common. The standard ZVT build. ZVP, pardon me. Early pools definitely are a thing, and I definitely don't mind them at Diamond at Diamond League. If you if you learn how to make an early pool, harass the Zerg, or then just say floodlings or something, it's very tough for a Protoss player to hold off in my experience on both sides of the coin. 
When I play Zerg, I like to cheese Protoss players with a lot of lings. When I play Protoss, I tend to get cheesed by a lot of lings and have a tough time defending it, as it is one of those things that takes a lot of experience to be able to deal to do properly. So we'll see how well the Diamond player is going to do against Alpha Star in this match. For now, the AI is being a jerk with its probe, messing with the mining a little bit here and there. Uh, how much this actually costs, I'm not sure, but it's it's not a lot. Otherwise, there'd be a lot more emphasis on it. Now we see a few lings on the way for the Diamond player. He's got a third base. Oh, wait, what? What? Uh, he transfers drones down to the bottom already. That That's an interesting play, I guess. Transferring drones right away. Uh, the probe is probably going to die, so Alpha Star makes a mistake there. However, the Diamond player transferred drones already to his natural. I mean, I don't think you'd want to do that because it would interrupt your immediate economy. I think it's better just to rally out drones from the top base to the bottom base as they fill up, but each to their own. You know, it's one of those things like, whatever, do what you want, Diamond Zerg. Now, the Lings are moving out for the Diamond Zerg. They're going to find Alpha Star's Adept. The Adept is going to micro against these Lings. Already killing two or one of them. There's two of them dead. The Adept makes it out. Takes a bit of hole damage. Do Adepts have holes? I'm not sure. It's they takes body damage. Uh, Queen's going to have to try and intercept this Adept now as it shades towards... The main base, there's been no more lings made for the diamond player, and so the adept massacre of drones could begin, and that's what we're going to see. One dead drone. We have one dead drone. We got two dead drones. Do we have a third? Do we have a third dead drone? We've got, uh, yes, the third dead drone, but followed by a dead adept. And so the diamond zerg player loses three drones for one adept. Not ideal. Banking a ton of money. Uh, going to be making nine roaches, though, to try and just cheese out the Protoss player. Personally, I'm more of a fan of Lings because Void Rays, Shield Batteries, I think are less effective against Lings. Roaches definitely can be good. Rav Roach Ravager pushes are very, very great. However, yeah, I do think that going for the Lings are better as far as cheesing goes as the Roaches can be countered by a quickly Chrono Boosted Void Ray. Stalkers are pretty good against Roaches. Uh, roaches seem like they're more of a commitment. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. However, the Diamond Zerg player is going to be trying to cheese out Alpha Star at 23 supply, start and rally, or send some roaches across the map, then just drone up behind it, which is like, alright, you do you. Making a bunch of spore crawlers for now. Uh, then just droning, droning, droning behind this attack. Alpha Star only has a couple of adepts at its natural base. It's probably going to have to warp in a couple stalkers or something, and there is only one pylon powering this. So maybe this attack could get something done. I think Alpha Star has played a little bit greedy against this. The Roaches are coming on in. Yeah, I mean, the AI is very good at holding against cheeses and things, but the shield battery is going to be drained in a second. No Stalkers have been warped in now. Now we're going to be seeing a Sentry warped in, a Void Ray gets started, which will be the end all to clean this up for the most part. Looks like the Oracles are just gunning down all the drones on the other side of the map, making this Diamond player even more all-in. There could be a force field to help section out these units, and the Roaches didn't just go for the pylon, they didn't dive in. They actually just started working out on the gateways, the Cyber Core, which will not be enough in order to get the win. The Diamond player needs to get probe kills, he needs to get a lot of probe kills. Instead, he's just going to pack up his army and go on home making five more roaches interestingly enough i guess just one in doubt go for another big attack but alpha star is making void rays behind this and void rays are pretty good against roaches for those of you that don't know not only can the roaches not shoot up but the void rays just melt the roaches like a hot knife through butter that's what the prismatic beam of a void ray does as it, it, it just cuts through roaches as if it's going to use them to make like to butter their toast or whatever alpha star isn't even rebuilding its cyber core, it's just like, alright, Zealots, I guess, fires up charge, now rebuilds the cyber core, but is gonna have a prism, charge lots, plus one, a void ray out, like, it's, it's looking real darn good for the AI. The diamond player has tried, but he's just on such a low drone count, and it's not gonna work out for him this game, I don't believe. Okay, yeah, things looking pretty good for Alpha Star. Pretty darn good. And so this means, just looking at this game, that this is going to be a rather short video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope uh, I hope you guys will have enjoyed this video, even though it's uh, it's a short one for your for your daily or 
other, every other day alpha star fix. Uh, I'm pretty sure the next one will be longer, but uh, we are working our way through every single video. And sometimes these matches just line up like this, in which I pick two, in which Alpha Star just wrecks the opponent pretty darn quickly. So in goes Alpha Star, there's Roaches to help defend against this, and the Roaches should actually do okay against what's on the ground, but the Void Ray could be all that Alpha Star needs to push in. The Queen's going to have to do a lot of work to help defend this. There's going to be plus one in just a minute here. Alpha Star, um, okay. Alpha Star just recalls, I guess. I mean... <laughs> That's quirky. What was the purpose of this recall, Alpha Star? Uh, I I can't say this one. We're having a bit of a wall dirt from the AI as well as Zealot just parked in this wall. Uh, that was a really really big derp. The AI is now going to be warping in a couple of Archons and going for like a partial attack after recalling most of its army. It would seem. That's just really really darn bizarre. Anyway, though, Alpha Star is still very far ahead on the economy. The Diamond player is making Hydras, though, and Hydras ain't bad. Uh, on such a low economy, I wouldn't say they're good either. But if Alpha Star pulls, like, an Alpha Derp and attacks in just with Archon, Zealots, and an Immortal, I definitely think that there is a chance that the Diamond player, say, crushes this army, then maybe moves in for a counterattack, something like that. Uh, a third base is on the way for Alpha Star, but... The Diamond Zerg player's on 38 drones. He's 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 fighting if we see a big Alpha Derp. I was getting ready to like do the outro of this video as Alpha Star totally just kills this Diamond player, but that's not what we're seeing this game. And as, uh, yeah, it's just looking like Alpha Star's taking its sweet time. Now comes the rest of the army. Maybe this is all that Alpha Star needs to make this push happen. The Diamond Zerg is definitely going to have to pull back, but I guess that's not really an option as he may have to come down to fight at his third base location to try and save this. Uh, yeah, here's the big Protoss force looking to maybe move forward. Is the Diamond player going to micro his units well enough? There's a sentry. No force fields. There's the force fields. Actually, really well placed by Alpha Star. The Zealots buffering enough for these units. The Hydra's putting out damage, but all the roaches are gone. The Hydra's will melt rather quickly. And this will be all that Alpha Star needs in order to get the win for this game, for this video, for the AI race, I guess. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a sad day for humanity as Alpha Star totally just shut this guy down. Uh, Roach Cheese is not the best in my opinion, and I think we saw a reason why. The Hydra is not even in range of the Prism. More units are going to get warped in. It's it's just a bloodbath. It is a bloodbath indeed on New Repugnancy. Okay, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you enjoy Alpha Star, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the Discord. All that good stuff. And then if you do enjoy the content and want to consider supporting it, consider becoming a YouTube member by pressing, by pressing that join button or the link in the description. I'll see you next time. This has been Laughing Games. Thanks for watching.